Hello, my name is Dr. Oscar Ruiz. I'm a agronomist with Waypoint Analytical, and I'll be explaining how to take rice tissue samples. When determining when and how to take a tissue sample, it's important to consider two, the two approaches. One is the diagnostic approach, where you're taking a sample, identifying an area of the field that is problematic or is bad, and using a reference sample from a good or unaffected portion of the area. The next approach, monitoring, requires regular tissue sampling throughout the season. This will allow us to evaluate our fertility program, search for any hidden hungers, and perform any in-season corrections. When taking your tissue samples for routine analysis or for monitoring purposes, it is important to maintain those sampling areas within sections of the field that are similar in appearance or performance. When taking your leaf samples, it is important to identify not just the growth stage of the plant, but also the proper leaf for sampling. As an example, I pull out this plant. Identify the main stem. Typically it is the middle, the middle plant. Rice is a bunch plant, therefore you're gonna find the middle tallest plant, which I think is probably this one here and go to the most recently matured leaf. That would be the leaf, the, the tallest, most photosynth photosynthetically active leaf with a collar. This is the newest shoot with no collar, but this is the most recently matured leaf with a collar. I'm gonna take this sample. That is one leaf. Of these, I require sufficient leaves to create a softball sized wad for submittal to the laboratory for nutrient analysis.